Welcome back to TrueHost Academy, ready to kick off your website journey. Today we're diving into how to upload an HTML file in cPanel. This is a must-know skill for any web developer or website owner, and I'm here to walk you through it step by step. So let's get started. First things first, let's talk about cPanel. If you're new to it, cPanel is an amazing web hosting control panel that makes managing your website files and settings a breeze. It's super user-friendly, so you don't have to be a tech wizard to use it. Whether you're building a personal blog, a portfolio, or a business site, uploading your HTML files to cPanel is the key to sharing your content with the world. All right, before we jump into cPanel, we need to prepare your HTML file. Here's how. Start by creating your HTML file using a text editor. You can use something simple like Notepad on Windows or Text Edit on Mac. If you prefer something more advanced, try code editors like Visual Studio Code, Sublime Text, or Atom. Write your HTML code. Here's a basic template to get you started. I will attach a link for it on the description area. Save your file with a .html extension like index.tml. Make sure it's saved correctly and not as a .xt file. Before we upload it, let's make sure there are no errors. Use an online validator like the W3C Markup Validation Service to check your HTML code for any syntax errors. Also, open your HTML file in a web browser to see how it looks and check for any layout issues. Now that our HTML file is ready, let's log Log into cPanel, open your web browser and go to your cPanel login page. Enter your username and password and click log in. Once you're logged in, you'll see the cPanel dashboard. Scroll down until you find the files section and click on file manager. This is where all the magic happens. In the file manager, you'll see a navigation pane on the left, a file list on the right, and some action buttons at the top. The navigation pane shows the directory structure of your server. Your website files usually live in the public underscore HTML folder. The file list shows all the files and folders within the selected directory, and the action buttons let you upload, download, edit, or create new files and folders. Now, let's upload your HTML file. Navigate to the public underscore HTML directory in the navigation pane. This is the root directory for your website files. There are two ways to upload your file. One. The drag and drop method. Open your local file explorer, find your HTML file, click and hold the file, and then drag it over to the file manager interface. Release the mouse button to start the upload process. You'll see a progress bar showing the upload status. Two, the file selection method. Click the upload button at the top, then click select file. This will open your local file explorer, find your HTML file, select it, and click open. Click upload file to start the upload. Wait for the upload to complete, and you'll get a success message once it's done, great, you've uploaded your file. Now let's make sure it's actually there and ready for the world to see. Go back to the file manager and check if your file appears in the public underscore HTML directory. If you see it, that's awesome. If not, try refreshing the file manager or double checking that you uploaded it to the right spot. Next, open your web browser and enter the URL to access your file. For example, if your file is named index.html, go to https colon slash slash yourdomain.com slash index.html. If everything went smoothly, your HTML page should pop up in the browser. If you get a 404 not found error, double check the file name and directory path to make sure they're correct. Now let's talk about placing your HTML file in the correct directory. The public underscore HTML directory is your website's main hub. Any files you put here can be accessed by anyone using your domain name. If you want to keep things organized, you can create subdirectories within the public underscore HTML folder. For example, you might have a folder for images, public underscore HTML slash images, or a folder for your blog, public underscore HTML slash blog. To access files in these subdirectories, users need to include the subdirectory in the URL, like https colon slash slash yourdomain.com slash blag slash index dot html. Make sure your HTML file is in the right directory so everyone can see it online. And that's it. By following these steps, you've successfully uploaded your HTML file to cPanel. Now your website is ready to be seen by the world. Keep exploring cPanel's features to manage your website like a pro. Happy website building! Thanks for watching TrueHost Academy. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more web development tips. See you next time!